On the last episode of Shark Scrapper, I was busy getting the truck unloaded so I could try to get back to that neighborhood and beat the bulk waste pickup trucks to the... Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oops, camera down. All right, now, like I said, I was busy getting the shark mobile unloaded so I could get back to that neighborhood before the bulk waste pickup trucks got there. So let's see if we made it. <clears throat> okay, it was tough. It was a race, but we made it back. So we are good to go now. We've got one, two ACs. We've got washers, two washers. Two front loaders. Okay. Well, let's get to it. I parked a little bit far away, but this lets me keep the shark mobile in the shade. It also lets me work in the shade, and that's important when you're working in Florida in the summer. Now, not only can these AC compressors be a little bit on the heavy side, these two are a little bit short. So... I am going to have to get my 4x4 chunk of cheater height and put that underneath of one end here and that'll give me a little more leverage to get this up into the shark mobile. It's amazing what a difference just four inches can make. We should have done a grunt count on this. That would have been hilarious because, trust me, there's a lot of grunting and groaning going on loading these bad boys in. And of course, the problem is that they're just a little bit too wide to go side by side in the back of the truck bed. So this is going to create a little bit of a challenge. So I decided that the plan would be to load the lighter of the two, which is the dryer. And it's funny, it's dropping coins as I'm moving it towards the Sharkmobile. 
the thought being that when I have the dryer in the sharp wheel, it'll be easier to get to move that around in the bed of the truck and out of the way and stuff as I need to. That was my thinking anyway. We'll see how it worked out. Hey, there's a grill right up on. Yeah, I saw it on the way in. Okay. Thank you, man. No, I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna have room for it, but I saw it. Well, I figured out something. That tailgate will hold it. Out of here I'm thinking to myself man I am glad I put the dryer in here first because that front load washer would have been a real bear to, to do this maneuver with. Well it might not be pretty but it's in there. <laughs> yeah she's strapped down I'm, I'm not worried about it going anywhere. Now there's a, we're gonna go see, there's a grill. I saw it on the way in. If we can set that on the gate safely, we'll, or on the side, we'll try to squeeze that in. But if we don't get it in, we don't get it in. I'm not worried, this is a good load. And those two AC units are a huge find for the day. <laughs> there's always room for ubiquitous wire shelving. <laughs> And let's see, there was a fan box here. Are there any piece parts? Nah, it's empty. Okay, we got the grill in there too. We had to do a little surgery, but we got the grill in there too. Very nice. Big ugly fridge. Very nice ACs. But man, we are really jammed up here right now. So I need to get some stuff out of the way. Uh, so I uh, dumped off a bunch of stuff for shred uh, and still have a lot of stuff that needs to get broken down. My plan here is get these two AC units broken down and then load up the shark mobile again with shred so that refrigerator will get tipped up in here and then, oh, yeah, then I can fill up the inside of that with all kinds of little metal bits. And I've got some more shred that needs to go in. I need to have this space ready for a pickup tomorrow for the three and a half inch pipe. So those guys are coming to pick up all of that. Uh, and it's just, it's just too jammed up here. I've also got a couple people that are interested in looking at the uh, air compressor. So I really need to just get stuff out of here right now. Well, it isn't going to happen with me sitting around yapping, is it? So let's get to work on this. 
This is a great opportunity for me to thank all the folks who have donated to the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22 campaign. What, what, what do you mean? You don't know about the Shark scrap? Well, of course not. We've had a lot of new subscribers. Okay, for all the new folks and a reminder for the rest of the shiver, we collect money throughout the year with the idea being that we're going to donate it to the University of Miami Shark Research and Conservation Program. Folks donate money through multiple means and then I match that money and for every three thousand dollars that we raise we get to adopt a shark. We get the name of the shark, we get uh, a code so we can look at the tag on it, see where they're at. Right now we have a shark from last year, Alihikai, uh, a great hammerhead shark. Uh, so we we love doing this project. And the way that folks can donate is very, very flexible. For those who are interested, you can become a member of the Shark Scrapper Patreon page. There are three levels for patrons, and if you follow the link that's down in the description below to go to the Patreon page, you'll be able to see what those levels are and the cool things that you get. I mean, all of my patrons get exclusive content, and then there's other stuff depending upon which level that you sign up to. Now, the other way that you can donate is the way that we were doing it last year. You can throw some bucks at my PayPal account paypal.me forward slant shark scrapper make sure you let me know if you want to remain anonymous because like you're seeing here I try to be uh, you know open and transparent so I want to make sure that if you don't want your name out there that I don't violate your privacy and then the last way that you can donate is to just send me a good old-fashioned check the address is in my about page uh, you can just send the check make it out to Shark Scrapper LLC and again please make sure to let me know if you want to remain anonymous because I like to be as transparent as I can like right now I'm telling you we've got one thousand one hundred twenty five dollars and fifty cents from you all and I'll be matching that so we are very close to getting at least one shark for twenty two well, it's gonna be a stretch for us to get two but I think we're gonna definitely make it to one shark and I got to point out, it's because of some fantastic donors. Nick Burns donated $500. He's still our single largest contribution. Jan Reicheldurfer donated $100. Barry West was dropping in 40 bucks a month. Thank you, Barry. We've also had some other one-time donors like Monica Wells and Mike Murphy. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say your name, so there was a, somebody who I couldn't tell if they wanted to remain anonymous or if they wanted just the amount anonymous. Let me know so I can you know, give you credit where credit's due. And then I've got all of our great Patreon members, Roger at CU Scrapping, Jay Wilson, Elliot Teeters, Chris at Boardsort, Buck Strickland, the Copper Buck Recycling. Those are whale sharks. Those are the top here. They're getting some really cool stuff. Then our tiger sharks, Dan Polowitz and Andy and the Merskels. Uh, that's our second tier. And then our first tier are the Hammerheads, Laura Furches and Alric. Thank you all very much. Because of you, we have $1,125.50 in the kitty right now. I'm going to be matching that. So we are very close to being able to adopt at least one shark in 22. In addition to donating to the University of Miami, we are also putting a portion of those proceeds towards UNICEF for relief for the children that have been displaced by the war in Ukraine. So your donations are going to multiple purposes. And the icons that are popping up are going to take you to more shark scrapping videos. The little round one that's in the middle, yeah, that's going to be to help you subscribe because you don't want to miss a single episode of the fun and exciting stuff that we do on the Shark Scrapper channel. Have a great day, everybody.